So this is the box that came, the Zazzle Wine Aerator. You open up this nice gift box. There's a thank you card for your purchase. So here you go, you know, let them know if you have any issues. Instructions on how to use the wine aerator. Safety warning. Don't let little kids have it. What is it going to be doing? And this is, you know, for those that haven't heard of aerating your wine, the old adage was, especially for reds, you opened your bottle and left it open for a little bit before you poured, let it breathe. So in this case, you're not having to sit there and wait for a long time for when you open your bottle, how it's working. So it's saying we're going to hold it over a glass and pour wine through the device. You should be hearing it gurgling so that you know the aerator is working as it goes into there. And then some tips, care instructions, and for those that need some nice visuals, how you're going to disassemble the unit and then how to reassemble it. We have the little pouch here, the little pouch it will come with. And this itself is the wine little stand for when you're not using it. And then the wine aerator, you can see there's the hole and where it's coming through, you're pouring the wine, it's coming down here and then going through those holes at the bottom. As you can see, and that's all being funneled down into this spot, and then it'll come out the bottom. So I, my assumption is that this is really great for reds. I'm not sure how it will be for a white wine, if it's going to make much of a difference, because red's the one that I remember people saying you really need to let it breathe. But I will get everything set up, and we'll see how it tastes. We can tell an appreciable difference. Okay, so I have this Zinfandel, as you can see. I'm going to pour just a little bit into this cup. This is going to be my taste comparison. So this, that one I'm just pouring in, it's going to just get a couple minutes of sitting. It's not going to get the aeration with the Zazzle. So now I have the Zazzle here, and I'm going to, oh, actually, let me come around a little bit. And I'm going to pour some... Actually, can you see the top? No. Stop. My control that I just poured from the Zinfandel. Now I'm going to take the Zazzle and I'm going to pour the red wine, some of it, into this other cup. And then I'm going to taste compare and let you know what I think. And I definitely heard, it's kind of hard to hear over the guzzle of the wine, but I did hear a little gulping sound as the wine went in and came down and through. I guess I'll pour a little bit more. Okay, and there were some bubbles that hit when, you can't really see it without moving the camera. But when it went in, there were some bubbles that hit in there. So I'm going to put this down. Okay. Now I've got the two. All right. So I've got the two different wines here that I went through. The one that I poured just coming straight out. Definitely smells like a red to me, which, you know, sometimes they can taste a little bit bitter. And I'm not a huge red wine fan because of that. The aroma is very similar, but it almost seems like it's less concentrated, going, having gone through and being aerated. So I'm going to just take a quick little taste of each and let you know what I think. Okay, so it's not, it's not the worst red I've ever had. I don't know if I'd say it's the absolute best that I've had. A little bit on the dry side, um, but I think that's pretty typical for red wines. Hmm. 
it doesn't taste as bitter. That was one of the things that I, when I was reading reviews before agreeing to do this, there were a few people that said that the bitterness, you know, it definitely helped cut down on what people consider the bitterness of red wine. And that's one of the reasons I typically don't drink it as opposed to some of the whites where I want something just a little bit sweeter and not, not the bitter taste, but. Yeah, the, the unfiltered is definitely more potent, I guess is a good way to put it. It's a very strong bite. The aerated one, I would definitely enjoy red wine a lot more often <laughs> with the aerator. So I'm glad I had the chance to bring this into the house. And like I said before, this is the Zazel wine aerator. And I guess now I need to go and clean it and get my red wine set aside for the next time I have some red meat. Thanks for watching. It was Laura from Life Beyond Kids.